Debian 12.6 with their annual minor release. It seems to be annual anyways. This 12.6 version has been benchmarked both as just the base operating system without a desktop environment, and then also with GNOME, which is their, I believe, default option for desktop environments. And let's have a look at where it ranks. Debian 12.6. Here we go. 280 megs of RAM usage as the base. While it's not terrible, it's also not good. Redox OS, 181 megs of RAM. And then Alpine, 85 megs of RAM. Postmarket OS, 61 megs of RAM. So 85 megs of RAM, 280 seems high in comparison. Almost three times. The system load is zero. That's great. But it's using 1.8 gigs of disk. Now that might not seem high, but Redox is d using 111 megs of RAM. Alpine Linux, 347 megs of RAM. What is required? That's 1.8 gigs just to run the base operating system. So that's high. 11 second reboot time. That's not bad, but Redox, four seconds. So Debian as a base operating system, it's at one point in time, this might've been great at a great option, but clearly there are better options now. Alpine Linux it is great. But my police don't make it catnip. Now that we've looked at the base, I also decided let's have a look at how it is with a desktop environment because other Linux distributions will commonly use Debian as a base and then they'll use GNOME on top of that. So this is good for comparison if you wanted to use just Debian with GNOME versus something else that is built on top of Debian and still uses GNOME. There it is, 12.6 Debian. If you want to run the GNOME desktop environment with Debian, there are worse options. Almost Linux based on Red Hat, I believe. Rocky Linux is also based on Red Hat Linux. Fedora Workstation are all worse performers with GNOME. If you want to run something better, somehow Ubuntu has performed better than stock Debian. Also, not running a very old version of the this is more than a year old. This just came out in June. It's using a version of a GNOME that's more than a year old. And the window manager is also old. And the display manager appears to be two years old. That's not great. More than a gig of RAM usage. That's high. If you wanted to run GNOME, performance is something that matters. You can run it on Alpine Linux in 556 megs of RAM. 1.8 gigs disk, 0.48 system load. So on Debian, the system load is okay. That's five gigs of disk. That is what, three gigs more than Alpine? And then uh, 19 second reboot time. So that goes up quite a bit from the stock Debian, which was 11 seconds. So I'm curious if you do run GNOME on Debian, why? Why, I'm curious, would you choose this option when there are other better performing options available based on performance? And that's not just the RAM, that's also the disk usage. The reboot time here can be optimized also. This is just the stuff. So yeah, Debian, definitely not my pick, but it seems to have been a pick for a lot of others. I'm guessing that was all because it was pre-Alpine. But it's interesting to see distributions continue down that sort of sunk cost fallacy path. Here you go. Debian 12.6. I guess I'll see you uh, next year with 12.7. Unless 13 comes out. Restart in 60 seconds. Commencing now. Log output. Five seconds on the grub clock. We're ticking down. And we got more log output. Booting up. Okay. Network services, you almost had me there. We're back. And it tingles a little. The company has permits to build in all 50 states. It doesn't use wood, doesn't need nails, 